Hey guys, before you turn it off, I just wanted to say this is Camp Prevo. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is a picture of my bus. Um, this is a picture of my batteries. And today we are going to look at my solar panels and then I'm going to get a kind of a surprise unboxing for a cooler that I need so that I can uh, get them to work. Um, to give you kind of an overview of it, what I'm trying to do is test my solar panels and I'm not able to because my batteries are charged, which is a good thing, but I can't um, test my panels because my solar charger won't charge a charged battery. And so this uh, company set power, they actually reached out to me and they said, Hey, do you want to try um, testing out one of our coolers? And I said, that would be fabulous because now I can uh, plug their cooler into my batteries and um, it will discharge them. So then I can charge um, or test out my solar panels. And then also I think one of those coolers would be awesome because they run off 12 volt, 24 volt, and AC power as well. So I'll be able to do a complete test of it and see if it's any good or not. Um, and uh, I think I'd like to throw that in on the bus and I can throw it in the back of my truck. Um, I think there'd be a lot of different uh, uh, things I can do for it. But just wanted to say uh, thanks for tuning in. Hit subscribe if you could. Uh, a lot of the people that watch don't hit subscribe, but got plenty more coming out. This is part one of many. Um, it's 30 degrees out. Actually, it was 20. It's like 40 today. Some sunshine came out and the cooler came. So I wanted to throw a video out and uh, I'll have some more in the future. And uh, thanks for tuning in and watching. I uh, hope you enjoy. So this is the smallest one, the 80 watt. Um, you can, these aren't like those cheap bendy ones. Well, they're not cheap. They've got adhesive on the back. And uh, they're a SIG panel. So they're supposed to be really efficient and bendable. You can walk on these. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is Try to stick this one in the sun and see if I can measure it. Um, they've got the stuff right here. So 80 watt, 4 amp, 18 volt, um, all my information on here. So just in the garage, off of this light, I'm getting uh, 2.8 volts. So they appear to work. That's good. Um, my voltage is supposed to be 18.8 .8 max um, at 4 amps, so 80 watt. And like I said, I'm getting 2.8 volts already. Pretty cool. So I brought them outside here, and you can see what kind of a day it is. But sitting out here with the foam over it now, I'm getting uh, 21 volts. And uh, it's supposed to be um, short circuit, open circuit 23.7. So that's pretty cool. Well, I brought my crude setup back outside. We have some sunlight now. I don't know if it's perfect or not but I couldn't get this one up to 80 watts and then it went into absorption if only I had a 12 volt load or 24 volt uh, then I could really test this I don't have anything that's 12 volt I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to drain the battery so that I can charge it with my solar panel in this company set power uh, notified me and asked me if I would be willing to do a review on their cooler. And I said, absolutely. And so just over here, perfect timing, I have uh, set power 12 and 24 volt and AC powered uh, cooler. And so what I'm gonna do today is unbox this. And uh, so I'll show an unboxing of it, but then I'm also going to set uh, almost slipped here. Um, I'm going to hook this up to my batteries so that I can pull the charge off of them. So what I'm going to do next is uh, 
I'll show you a picture here of what this is supposed to look like, but I'm going to do an unboxing and uh, I will show you the cooler there and um, I'm going to then bring all this inside and hook it up to my batteries. I'm probably going to do it in 24 volts so that I can pull a charge off both of these um, and that'll drop my battery level down. Then I can uh, try to figure out if the solar panels are any good because I've got 1400 watts and uh, I don't have enough load. So I'm wanting to test them out, make sure they all work, um, but I don't, I can't because my batteries are charged. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll get this unboxed. So there, I got it unboxed. It was boxed really, really nice. So kind of the story behind this. So I'm supposed to do an unboxing and then do a video of it and uh, uh, do an honest review. So I'm not going to make anything up. Um, they did uh, give this to me um, to do that. And uh, they're okay with me saying that. So I'll give you a real life um, thought of it. But um, big picture it's a cooler and it's got i think some settings over here so i can do 12 volt or 24 volt or plug it in as well so um, that'll be awesome and then i can set it uh, high medium and low as far as battery protection and then the compressor high or low and then also the temperature um, but I've got, what I'm going to do is take that fridge off my bus and replace it with this. Uh, I've got a refrigerator and a freezer. Um, it's got some baskets in here and, uh, the nice silica gel to keep it, um, clean. So inside of here so i just cut this open here open this up so we've got an instruction manual um, i'm a guy so i don't need instructions um, looks like this will plug into my car for 12 volt cigarette lighter and then we've got an ac cord which is awesome and then we have uh Oh, so it looks like that plugs into the cooler. So I'm going to um, give this a shot here. So I think what happens here is I can plug the AC cord in here. And I plug, um, plug this guy in here. tight fit and then I can plug this into here so then I can uh, plug it in and turn it on to use that I'd have to go ahead and and I I may end up doing that because um, I've got the rest of my solar panels in here I've got 408 to 240 watt 480 volt and then the rest of them are looped up inside of there but I've got this um, 24 volt inverter left over and uh, I may have to hook that up to my batteries to be able to draw um, a lot of power to be able to use all of my solar panels. Because what I'm wanting to do is test each one of them. But like I said, the problem is I can't test them because I've the only thing I've got is to plug them into that solar charger. And the solar charger won't, it shuts itself off because the batteries are charged. So I'm going to hook this up to my batteries to draw the charge off of it so i'm going to work on doing that next here so see if i can explain this i don't know if everybody's catching it on or not but so i'm i'm trying to test my solar panels and the only way i can do that is to plug them into my solar charge controller and to charge a battery but my batteries 
are charged. So my solar charge controller shuts itself off. Here we've got some nice sunlight right now. So it's showing 20, 40, 40 watts. There it's, it's kind of shutting itself down because they're charged. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. So I'm going to, um, I gotta go get a connector, but then I'm, I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna tie them together, make them 24 volt, and uh, see if I can drain them down with that cooler. Okay, so I've got a connector for my Frankenstein mess here that I can plug into the cooler. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. Now, let's turn this guy on. There. So now it's turned on. And I can hear the compressor turn on. Set to 36. All right, so the compressor is on max. I'm gonna get my iPad now so I can see the voltage. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it says the voltage is 12.62. Um, I think I do have a shunt. I'll probably work on getting that connected in here. I'm gonna let this run for a minute and then um, plug in the solar panel. We have uh, stars are aligning and I've got some uh, some sun. So now I've plugged that in. And uh, with my Frankenstein mess here, I'm pulling uh, 32 watts now. Um, see if I can tilt this up any. You can see my wattage going up. I wasn't able to do this. Um, I'm in bulk mode now too. I need two hands. So now I'm like 50 watts at this angle. Still, it's still really overcast out, if you can see that. But uh, this is my mess. So I finally, thanks to set power, and like I said, I will be doing a, a review on that that I'll post. I'm able to draw power from the battery so that my charge controller will pull all the power I can get from my solar panel so that I can start to test it. So what I'm gonna do is I'll let that cooler run and uh, try to draw down some uh, current, some uh, charge inside the battery and uh, we'll keep testing. So what I'm going to do here is uh, change the change my solar panel. I can't do it with one hand. I'm going to tilt up both sides so that it goes to the uh, sun and you can see what it looks like. So that's pretty good. Uh, got 70 watts. It's an 80 watt panel. So that's pretty cool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably try to post this video of just what I'm doing. Um, I've got uh, a lot more solar panels inside that I'll do some testing on. I've got the cooler. Uh, I've got to do the testing on and also these solar charge controllers just kind of wanted to show you these SIGS panels and uh, my Frankenstein stuff and uh, introduce the cooler um, 
So I'm going to probably unplug the panel and uh, turn this to 24 volt. Just hook those in uh, series and have the cooler draw the batteries down. That way I can start uh, putting some tests in here because the next panels I've got are 240 watt. And then I've got some connectors inside here. My garage is a mess. But uh, I can hook um, panels together um, so that I can do it in 24 volt. Because one thing to get the uh, charge controller to turn on is you've got to have 5 volts higher than... Um, so like on a 12 volt you need uh, 17 volts. And for 24 volt, you need 29 volt to get it started. And uh, so I'd have to hook both of my panels in there together, um, if that makes sense. But um, I don't know, just thought I'd uh, get this out. More to come. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. i got to get rid of this snow. Um, I think we're supposed to get snow off and on for the next week. And uh, it's supposed to get cold again. But wanted to get a video out um, like I said it was a coincidence it was awesome that set power reached out with the cooler because I wouldn't be able to do this uh, without that and then uh, I think that's gonna be awesome I'm gonna set that on the bus and uh, we'll we'll use that it only draws like 500 watts so it, it just sips the power and that's when it's running um, and then you can put it on uh, uh, lower power as well so I'll do a better review on it later but I'm gonna turn this into 24 volt and then I'll have the cooler try to draw that down so that I can continue the testing. One other thing I wanted to share is I do have a website it's camppravo.com you can see a link in the video and uh, you can see all my uh, bus stuff uh, my battery stuff uh, things to come um, and if you want you can buy me a cup of coffee or a shirt if you want one so check it out all right so like I said um, I gotta do some more here it's fun this battery has been charged and so now she's finally into bulk because the uh, cooler is pulling it down so check this out um, there's 26 watts we finally have some Sun and it's in bulk um, Hold the panel up here. Now if the sun will come out, we're at 64. I hit 81 watts and uh, that was awesome. So this is kind of fun for me if you're a electric nerd. So there we are. We're climbing. We're finally getting some sun. We're 77. Come on, you can do it. Um, trying to get... <laughs> I get the up to 80 watts and there it went into absorption and now it's shutting it back down. So that's what I'm saying. Now I'm at 67 watts. Damn it. Um, finally have some sun out here and uh, it goes into absorption and so it kicks it back down. And so I've got to, uh, I got to wait till this goes back into bulk. Um, but uh, pretty neat. I did get 81 watts out of the 80 watt panel. And uh, it's still kind of cloudy, cloudy out here, so it would be interesting to see what she gets. But like always, thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, have a good one.